Hi there, welcome back to Tired Technician. What better time than Halloween to resurrect something? So, we're going to jump straight back into it. We're going to be looking at the Hi5 Unmatched to see how RISC-V developments have moved on in the last year. So, first up, we'll check the boring things. Abbey word first. Yep, this works fine. Now, on to numeric. This also works fine, unlike my typing. Formulas also work fine. I'll be honest, it's a spreadsheet program, there's not really a lot I can say. Next up, we'll have a quick look at how Half-Life runs through Zash 3D. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Performance isn't great, but at least it's playable. Some of the performance issues might be my fault. I did compile this from source and I might not have used the correct optimization switches. 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. We'll skip ahead to the bit after the train, and I'll run around until I get the HEV suit. Can we do this later? Cascades hey, scenario we discussed. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Greetings! Freeman? My God, what are you doing? Those containment parameters are still nominal. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective I System. Remembered. A nice bit of news now, Firefox has been partially ported. There's no JIT compiler for it yet, but at least it does play videos now.
Hi there, welcome to Tide Technician. Today we're going to be installing Ubuntu on this. Well, it did play videos when I tested it previously, but that was before I went from 2004 to 2204. This one takes a little while longer to run. Well, there's clearly still work to be done, but it certainly is a step in the right direction. With the official release of JDK19, the Java JIT engine has actually been completed for RISC-5, so I can show you a bit of Minecraft running. I set my launch script to remind me to disconnect from the internet, otherwise the launcher downloads x86 binaries and tries to use them. We're currently limited to Minecraft 1.12.1 .1, as a core component, LWJGL, is only available up to version 2 on RISC-V and JWGL3 is only out for x86, x64 and ARM. I'll just run around in this world a bit so you can get a feel for how it performs. It's not fantastic, but it is kind of playable. About a year ago, it would take about 20 minutes just to load the launcher, and so I never even attempted to launch the game, so this is a massive improvement.
I'll run through Geekbench a minute. Sped up, of course, because no one wants to watch a console window for 50 minutes. I'll put a link to the results in the description below so you can use the site's comparison features to compare it to other systems. Of course, there has been more news this month. The Intel Horse Creek RISC-V developer board has been shown off. It features a Sci-Fi Performance P550 processor running at 2.2GHz, manufactured on the Intel 4 process. It's got 8GB of onboard DDR5 RAM, it's got an 8x PCI Express 5 slot, and it uses an SD card for storage. I'll link down below to a Wikichip article with more details on that one. But of course, you know what this means? Your next RISC-V board could have an Intel inside. And this marks the end of this episode. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have, please leave us a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. We'll catch you again. Shut up.